<clears throat> Hello, it's me, Pet. A demon dog with a liking to horror and the occult. And I'm here to talk more about horror anthology podcasts. So I have a few. I've been saving this list since it says March 10th, 2020. So I've had this list since last year, which is pretty crazy. So some of the podcasts that I'm going to talk about today have finished in its entirety or are on to second seasons by now. And some of the podcasts, Podcast House, I guess, are working on or have put out some new, very interesting, cool podcasts that you should definitely keep an eye and ear on. So I just wanted to jump in and talk about this. Also, I had a question. Were you interested in maybe watching me stream one of these recordings. I think it would be kind of fun, flirty, and interesting for me to do so. I think that would be some fun content to put onto my Twitch page. All right, I've got a few horror anthology podcasts that I want to present to you today. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first one that I'm going to talk about today is one called Baraska. It's about a small town legend, which I love. I love small town legends. I love small towns. But this one is about a small town legend called Baraska. Sam is an addict talking to a therapist about his childhood and the legend that plagued it. Essentially, the legend of Baraska is children go missing after hearing a weird sound that goes across town. There's so many layers to this podcast. We have missing kids, weird cults, and oh no, is Baraska a monster or is it people? Has an amazing crew of voice actors. The kids acting in this one are so good at the beginning. It kind of jumps around time a little bit, like we go to the past and then it sets up for the legend and then we go to the future where Sam is talking to his therapist and then it goes to like the a few years in the past when they're um, teenagers and they're talking about Baraska. It's so good. Also, um, Call Spruce is in this. So uh, yeah, that's freaking amazing. Am I right, girls and gays and theys? You know I am. I was on the edge of my seat with this podcast, thinking up theories of what Baraska is, and I was always so stoked whenever a new episode came out. And also, the series ends with hints of a second season, which is so exciting. So that's Baraska. I definitely recommend you listen to it. Baraska is also um, a Q Code production, and a lot of Q Code productions have amazing podcasts underneath them. So um, go and check that out. I'll definitely be looking at other podcasts in Q Code. All right. So the next one I'm going to talk about is The Fountain Road Files. I'm super excited about this one. It's a found audio type of podcast. Found audio and found footage type of um, content I just get sucked deep into. It can either go one of two ways. It can either go really, 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 really good a la Blair Witch Project and like stuff like that, or it can go really, really, really terribly. Like Megan is missing. So this is one of them that went really, really well. I'm really excited for people to catch on to the found audio type of podcast. So this is a found audio type of podcast, holy shit, <laughs> about a guy who keeps an audio diary about his life during the pandemic. We're gonna get topical right now. Um, <laughs> truly reminds me of my experience and many other millennial and possibly even Gen Z. I'm not a Gen Z, I'm a millennial. Um, probably can relate to this podcast. I don't know much about British politics, but I do know quite a bit about Canada and American politics. Uh, it takes up a lot of my time, um, so I don't have much room to talk about or think about British politics. This podcast reminds me of dealing with family members and some former friends about the pandemic, having like really weird, tough like conversations about how you should believe scientists. <laughs> But uh, the dad in the story reminds me of my older brother and how much of a headache he is. 
There's a twist in the story and essentially all these recordings that the guy has made is found by someone and it makes this whole thing so much scarier. It has like a very creepy sort of paranormal undertone and paranormal vibe. I love stuff like this because the pandemic literally sounds like a horror story with people thinking that it's fake or that 5G has something to do with it. So having this podcast is eerily too close to home, but with the twist, it makes it a bit spookier. Um, something I love about this podcast is how easygoing the narration style is. I love listening to this anthology type podcast where the narrator or actors aren't trying super hard and aren't overacting. Nothing pulls me out of a story faster than someone who thinks that that this podcast is theater school. Like, I absolutely can't handle that kind of shit. So I binge this podcast and I can't wait for the next episode. And little update since last year, uh, the, this podcast has obviously finished and the pandemic is like kind of nearing, hopefully, fingers crossed, the end of things. Um, so yeah, can I get a uh, cocktail gang in the chat? Like, <laughs> <laughs> AZ and Pfizer gang. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know what my second vaccine is going to be. But anyway, so let's talk about the next one. Let's talk about the Parkdale haunt. It's about two best friends, Judith and Claire. Claire inherited a house from a biological family member she never knew and things begin to change. So I love podcasts about this. I love podcasts about cults. Um, I'm just gonna talk about this podcast in point form because that's just how I wrote these notes. I said, wow, great audio quality. Also, this is a Canadian podcast, which I'm super stoked about because I myself am Canadian. The audio is very clear. It's obvious when they're doing a flashback or whatever. This podcast also goes with the my friend is missing trope and I recorded everything, which is something that I'm super into. I love the fantasy about like, oh, a mysterious family member passed away and I inherited everything. Like I either inherited like a house or a certain amount of money and I hardly knew this family member. Oh, there's a mystery afoot. So I love that type of thing. And this Parkdale Haunt podcast totally has that. Um, episode eight is legendary. Also sound the alarm because we've got an LGBTQ character. Bonus points for that because I myself am a member of the LGBTQ and it's always great to hear um, podcasts that have LGBTQ characters without killing them off. I'm going to talk about spoilers at this point so jump ahead a little bit <laughs> okay three two one talking about spoilers now so i just wrote point forms for this it's such a fun podcast when your best friend summons a demon cult this podcast is also really good because it combines two of my favorite horror tropes which is missing friend and cults <laughs> The voice acting is really good. That's not really a spoiler, but I just <laughs> put that in the notes for some reason. Okay, so the hair Judith found in the bag, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with Claire. And also I wrote just Newmite52, Newmite underscore 52. So I'm gonna look into that and see. <sighs> All right, spoilers is done. It also looks like Parkdale Haunt is ramping up for a second season. I haven't checked yet because I haven't really been listening to podcasts, but I'll get more into that at the end of this video. Another podcast that I wanted to give sort of a little note to listen to. I haven't actually finished the entire uh, season of this, but I know that it's either finished or they're on to their second season. Uh, this is a podcast called Ghost Tape. Girl's grandpa dies. He left a mysterious tape. Again, this trope with a family member dies and left something behind. I love that type of stuff. As you can see, I just talked about the Parkdale haunt. Very Operation Wandering Soul. Uh, so if you don't know about Wandering Soul, I suggest you Google it. It's uh, this tape from a war. I'm gonna keep it vague just in case it spoils anything. Also, I put here in my notes a very sexy voice actress. <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. <clears throat> okay, so this is another wonderful um, QR Productions. Yeah, that's that's one of them. I Again, a disclaimer and full transparency, I have not finished listening to this podcast. I think I'm on like episode five or something. 
All right, the next podcast that I'm going to talk about is called The Oyster. It's set in 2050 on an Earth that has become inhabitable due to overwhelming carbon emissions. Wow, which is super close to home. Oh, it was burping at the same time. The people are trying to save the human race. Every person is given a government-mandated microchip implanted into their brains in an attempt to facilitate the migration to an underground shelter and also use it as a point score to determine their usefulness in a future society. Uh, which is really... <laughs> which I feel like really fuels, like, conspiracy theorists. I'm, I'm doing pretty well with my personal microchip here. But um, the oyster is really, really interesting. Has a mostly BIPOC cast, which is something that's super important to me. There's a lot of like uh, switching to AI and trying to figure out AI and stuff, which is cool. This podcast feels very like Darkest Night, which is another podcast that I talked about in my first, one of my first uh, podcast videos in terms of audio engineering, binaural experience, the amazing voice acting and everything. God, there's so many, the future is dying tropes nowadays uh, with stuff set in the uh, the 2050s and the 2060s, so I'm screaming. I haven't finished this podcast, but apparently I think they're on to their second season or they finished this whole season. I need to get back into it, but uh, definitely keep your eyes and ears on the oyster. Another podcast that I'm going to talk about is called Believer. This is a podcast about a paranormal investigator who doesn't believe in the paranormal anymore. She dated this woman named Rose and they broke up and now they're missing. Hello, again, welcome to me, Pets Podcast Recommendations, where I recommend the only horror anthology podcast with the friend is missing trope. (laughs) I love that kind of thing. Something annoying about this podcast, though, is the flashbacks in between the narrator being with a client and present day. It's really confusing at first in regards to comparing it to the Parkdale haunt. When they do do flashbacks, it's very obvious they have like a sound effect or um, they talk about being in a certain time. And I wish that more podcasts were cognizant about that because it's really hard to understand flashbacks without like an audio cue because we're not watching like a TV show. The sound mixing is also not super great about this and the acting feels a little bit shitty, no offense, but I'm gonna be real. Um, But regardless, this podcast seems to have a lot of potential and I'm excited about it. It's also kind of funny. It's not like haha funny, but like chuckle funny. All right, so the final podcast that I want to talk about is called The Sheridan Tapes. Uh, It's a podcast about a PI who got assigned a case about Sheridan. 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 Um, Anyways, who's a paranormal author who went missing. The PI... (laughs) I'm so sorry. This is another missing trope, so we've got three out of seven. Anyways, the PI who's been assigned this case is a big skeptic and is about to investigate the tapes that Sheridan left. Again, I love found audio, found footage type of horror, so who's surprised that this made it onto the list? It's kind of giving me black tape sort of vibes, but with the roles reversed. Hopefully it's fresh and new, haven't, again, haven't caught up. Yeah, those are uh, the seven podcasts that I wanted to recommend right now. These are all horror anthology podcasts. I'll do more um, top favorite podcasts to listen to type of videos in the near future. I love doing these kinds of videos. I love sharing recommendations for everyone and I love hearing your recommendations. I found some amazing stuff that y'all have told me about and I just love that. I love having like a little community of like people who we can talk about horror or true crime or whatever weird sort of found podcasts on the internet. For like half of 2020 and like most of 2021, I haven't really been listening to podcasts because like many people during the pandemic, 
I stopped working. Um, I actually went to film school. I finished film school in April and I'm doing a bunch of like jobs that require me being a camera operator. So I can't like listen to podcasts or like require me editing a video. So I can't like listen to podcasts while I'm doing that, which really stinks. But I'm gonna try to put some time aside to listen to more podcasts and maybe even some horror books because I found TikTok and I found myself on like scary books TikTok and there are some things that I really want to listen to and I also found out that the VPL, the Vancouver Public Library, you can rent out audiobooks. So I was like, oh damn, that's awesome. So I'll try to find like some time while I'm like researching certain podcasts or like edit, like finding stuff to make scripts for videos and stuff or like even commuting I will listen to either podcasts or audiobooks and come up with a fresh new list. I have like another five of these scripts that are ready to go. Uh, all I have to do is like record them and put a little shiny bow on top of them and upload them to here. So yeah, I'm excited to share more with you and let me know what you would like to see on my Twitch. I am really interested in actually finding some time to stream and make it a goal for me to reach affiliate and then eventually partner. That would be so awesome. I'm going to manifest it now. All right. Thanks so much for listening. And until next time, my name is Pet or Nex and I'll see you soon. Bye.